Hey y'all, it's Kelly from Dixie Darlings Tumblers and today we're starting with a 24 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia and we're actually going to do a split cup today. And the vinyl I'm using is from the Vinyl Cottage and it is available on the Vinyl Cottage's website. I will link it in the description box below. And the cup I've already taped off half of it. So I do show you guys how to do this more in depth in the tutorial that I did that was a split cup with stripes. And I'm gonna link it here and I'll link it in the description box below as well. This was a technique that I originally saw from Jessica Flynn of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And I just loved this vinyl and we're actually gonna use the latest peachy palette. So this would have been July's peachy palette that we received in August. And when I got the colors in, I knew it would match perfectly with this. So I am just laying half of my vinyl down here. I've got my cup taped off and you can see I'm just taking my craft knife and I'm running it down the edge of my tape right here and peeling off the excess. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side and then I'm gonna remove my tape um, and then I'm gonna trim off the top and the bottom. So you can see more details of how I do the split cup in another tutorial that I had done that is the split cup with stripes tutorial and I will link it for you guys. And here I'm just pulling the top really tight. I'm gonna take my craft knife, I'm gonna trim off that excess and then I'm gonna turn the cup upside down and I'm gonna pull the overlap that I've left at the bottom tight around the side of the cup and these 24 ounce plumps, if you guys have seen me vinyl right before, you know I love these because they have this ridge around the bottom and it just makes it so much easier to do these vinyl wraps, especially when you pull them around the bottom. See how my craft knife just goes right down in that ridge. You can trim it off the excess and then I just run that down in there where the vinyl that's laying over the bottom of the cup just goes right down in that seam. And then after I place my vinyl, I am going to take my painter's tape and tape off the vinyl side. I'm just going to run it right along the seam, and then I'm going to put some plastic wrap so I can go into spray painting the other side. And I'm going to use Montana's Gold Gleaming Pink, and then I use a Rust-Oleum Spring Green, and then I use Rust-Oleum's Fluorescent Bright Neon Yellow. So I will link all those in the description box below for y'all so y'all have exact links of which ones I used. So I'm just going to spray paint this side. We're actually going to do the Jessica Flynn Gypsy Leopard design on this side. So I'm actually taking two of Jessica's designs and I'm combining them. I've never done a half Gypsy Leopard. So after I've spray painted, I let that dry for about 30 minutes. I'm just going to go ahead and pull my tape off here. So you can see just taping it and wrapping it with a plastic wrap just provides, you know, an easy way to keep the other side clean. And then I've mixed up about five milliliters of Countercultures Medium Viscosity Artist Resin. And I'm just going to apply that to our spray painted side of the cup. So I am going to go ahead and do, use the epoxy method to apply my glitter. And like I said, I'm using the latest, peaches, pe the latest peachy palette at the time. And we're going to use um, Lizard Expo Daroga and then Pearl are going to be the four colors from the palette that I use. And I'll kind of show you as I walk through them, but I'm just going to kind of let you guys watch my glitter. Um, so I thought I would try the Gypsy Leopard design on just half and see how I how I liked it. I'd gotten these uh, colors in and I knew I wanted to do the Gypsy Leopard, but then I laid it down and I had this vinyl next to it. And I just love this vinyl so much and it matched so perfect. I was like, okay, I've got to figure out how to do these two designs in one. So I'm starting with my yellow and you can see I apply like a fair amount to the top of the cup. Um, but then I just apply it very sparingly as I'm going down into where the green spray paint is. And so I'm just going to apply a little bit here. I know that the green is a little bit easier to provide coverage and I'm going to tap off my excess. So I am going to go down a little bit farther with my yellow and then I'm going to go into my pink and I'm going to do, you can see pretty heavy coverage on the bottom and on the bottom corner right there where you don't necessarily want the colors to blend. You want pretty good coverage with that color. And then you can see as I'm going into the next color, as I'm ombre into the next one, I go a little bit lighter on the coverage. So I would rather do a little bit at a time and then come back and be able to add than having too much glitter on and then you really can't do much about it. And then we're gonna go into our lizard, our green, and I'm gonna apply pretty, same way, pretty, you know, like a little bit heavier in the middle. You can see I always start in the middle and then I start working my way out. This, especially this green is a beautiful green, but green and yellow are very hard for me to ombre. <laughs> So I had to work very carefully. You can see I just uh, add a little bit at a time and I'm gonna make several passes with my glitter here. Mm -hmm. 
And I know it's kind of hard to tell from an above angle, but you can kind of see where I tilt my cup at an angle. I don't tilt it at too much of an angle, especially with the green going into the yellow, just barely, because I don't want that falling too far down on the cup. I want it to blend in a little bit, but when you see me go back in with the yellow and the pink, and then I'm also going to use from Peach Yellow Glitter their 10, 12, 13, I do go in at a steeper angle when I'm using those colors. So yeah, I'm gonna kind of use 10, 12, 13 to blend in my yellow to my green and even my green to my pink. So I'll I apply a little bit at a time here, but I do go a little bit heavier on this, this one because this one kind of picks up both colors. So I didn't feel like there was, you know, was, there wasn't really a danger of getting too much of this on here. But you can see now I am going with a steeper angle just so it will go down into the green farther. And then when I flip it upside down, I go into the yellow. I do, I do angle my cup at a much steeper angle. And then I'm just gonna start back over with my colors. So I have pretty good coverage with the 10, 12, 13. So you can see now I'm going in a little bit steeper and a little bit heavier with both colors to blend them down into the green. And I will make a pass back through with my yellow, my pink, my green, and my 10, 12, 13. So I do make several passes through here just to make sure that they're good and ombre all in together. And then after I get them glittered, I'm gonna dust off any excess here and I just kind of pull my tape back here. I actually don't pull my tape off then. I go back in about an hour later and I'll pull my tape off then. Just when I make sure that, you know, my glitter's getting you know set pretty well and I'm just not gonna mess up anything so I will go ahead and pull that tape off and then I'm actually once that dries I'm gonna let that coat dry for about six hours I am gonna go back in and apply another row of tape here and I'm gonna offset it just a little bit and I'm gonna use my plastic wrap again and I'm gonna tape that back section off because I'm gonna use some Mod Podge um, spray sealer here this clear acrylic sealer and just to cover this I don't want these colors really blended into each other, so a lot of times where I would use quick coat, this time I'm just gonna use um, the spray sealer. So I do use the spray sealer here before I go in and paint my leopard spots. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. So now I'm gonna go in and just paint my leopard spots in the green area, and you can see I'm just using a small angled brush. So if y'all have watched me paint spots on before, you know that I prefer to use Peach Yellow Glitter's Clear Adhesive. They do sell it on their website. It just seems to adhere the glitter better. I just like using it versus Mod Podge, but it really you could not use Mod Podge as well, either one. And so I'm gonna go in and paint the center of my spots first. And I'm gonna use Athena here by Peachy Olive Glitters uh, as the center of my spots. And then I'm gonna go back and use Expo as the outside of my spots. So I just kind of decided that was the color combination I wanted to go with here. And just because it's only half the cup, I did go ahead and paint all the inside of my spots with the clear adhesive, and then I'm just gonna go back in and apply Athena, and then I'm gonna tap off any excess, and then I'm gonna take just some Apple Barrel Black acrylic paint and mix it in with the Peach Yellow Glitter Clear Adhesive, just so I have that as the base to go in and paint the outside of my spots, and then I'm gonna use Expo. Now these, I don't do the whole side, I just do a few at a time, and then if you've seen me do this before, you know, I paint, all my spots, the, the big ones, the, the outlines, and then I have to go back in and fill in. That's just visually how I see it. So I like to do all the ones that have the gold and then go back and do little any little fillers after that. And then after I've let that dry for about probably 30 minutes, I went back in with the same Mod Podge clear acrylic sealer and I did two coats and I just did it on the side of the glitter. So where the other side was marked off where I'd done my epoxy method and then I retaped it and sprayed my sealer, added my spots, and then I did two more coats of the Mod Podge after that. And then I let that dry for about an hour before I moved into my ne next layer of epoxy. And then I am gonna go into about 25 milliliters of Countercultures Medium Viscosity Artist Resin, and I'm gonna apply this to the entire cup. Now, I like to start on the side that has the vinyl just because you are gonna be moving from one section to the other, but just for to start with, I kinda usually always start with the vinyl side, and then I'm gonna go in to my glitter side. And then I actually have let that coat dry for about six hours, and then I'm gonna go into a second coat. And so then in this layer, I am gonna go in and I'm gonna add some micas. 
So I'm just gonna add a few different colors. I end up not being crazy about them and kind of blending them out a little bit more than I anticipated and then adding some peach yellow glitters mariner over them. So I will list the colors that I use in the description box below. The colors that I used are Woody's Goodies, uh, Micah's, I used like three different colors. I used a blue and then I ended up going back in with a white over it. And then I also add in a little bit of, from Counterculture, their armor art, their metallic gold. I love the, using this gold. And I, I'm gonna add some glitter over this. And then I end up coming back again after that and adding a little bit more gold uh, over the top of it after I've laid the glitter in another layer of epoxy. And so just because I wanted to show you guys, cause you would be able to see that it was there, even though I'd kind of <laughs> spread it out a lot more than I expected. You know, I'm gonna add the gold, then you will see me go back in and add the white, but then I really take my silicone tool here and I stretch it out. So I just keep working it out, working it out, working it out, and I wipe some of it off and then I kind of just stretch it out. So I wanted it there, but I didn't really want it that strong. So then you can see here now that I'm going back in and adding Mariner over it. And this is by Peachy Olive Glitters. And I also add H2O. So I just wanted to add a few little colors. And then I don't like this chunky glitter to be over my spots. And then I didn't want it to go into my vinyl. So I do go in with my little silicone tool and, you know, kind of bump off any little pieces that have just gone a little stray. That they've either gotten over my little leopard spots or they've gotten into the vinyl. So I just kind of work them to how I want to. And then I let that coat dry for about six hours. And I do go in with another coat of Countercultures Medium Viscosity. Um, I use about 25 milliliters. And then I let that coat dry for about six to eight hours. And then I do go in and sand. So you guys can see that I've sanded here. And now I'm gonna go back in with one more coat. Just because I've added that chunky glitter, I wanna make sure it's smooth before I'm gonna go in and add my vinyl details. And so I do add about 25 milliliters of Countercultures Medium Viscosity again. So several different coats, but because I added that chunky glitter, I, it, it took two coats after that I did that just to make sure that it was pretty smooth. So I do sand after the first coat and then I end up adding a second coat just because I want it to be really smooth. And I'm really funny about the stripes on these cups. I will fight with those to make sure that there's no bumps on those. I really, that really bothers me on my cups. So I did just go ahead and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go add another layer of epoxy here just to make sure it's smooth. And then once I got that on there, I was like, you know what? I think I want a little gold accents in here. So I am gonna take uh, Countercultures Armor Art, their metallic gold, and I'm just gonna add a little bit. And I'm just gonna kind of use it as an accent around the edges. I want you to still be able to see the chunky glitter there for sure. But then I thought, you know what? It's still just missing something that I'm not quite, I can't put my finger on it. So I was like, okay, we're gonna start with um, the gold here. So you can see, I just, I, I never know if how many colors I'm gonna use or if one of them is gonna work and I'm gonna have to wipe it off. So I always give myself a little spare and there's just about 10 milliliters and I just pour about two in like several different cups. Just so I leave my options open y'all, just in case I put this on there and I don't like it and I wanna try something different. So, um, and then I'm just gonna string this out here. You can see, I'm just gonna kinda use it as an accent and I really don't use that much and I spread it pretty thin. I don't want it to be as strong as maybe we would do on a normal Gypsy Leopard. I just wanted to kind of blend the colors together a little bit better. And after I get this coat finished, I am going to go in and I'm going to use another 25 milliliters of Countercultures Medium Viscosity Artist Resin over this. Just because it made it a little bit wavy, I did want to go in with another coat. So I used another coat and I let that dry for about eight hours. And then I go in and I cut out my stripes here. And I do this in design space. And I basically just take a shape, this in a square, and I stretch it out into the length and width that I want it. And I will link this in the description box below for y'all. So I'm just going to lay those down and actually the same ridge that I cut the vinyl off around the bottom I'm gonna cut these little stripes off down the side at the same area so you can see here I lay them on both sides and I cut them right along that same ridge and then I go in and I into my design space and I basically just take a circle and I size it out to the width of the bottom of the cup and I just measure it y'all I just take my tape measure I measure it out it's like 2.8 and that's how I cut my circle and I'm just gonna use the same vinyl that I use on the back side of this cup I'm gonna place that down and then I'm gonna go into my next layer of epoxy and this was actually my final layer of epoxy here I use about 25 milliliters of countercultures medium viscosity sometimes I will go into a second coat this one did not really need it I laid my stripes and the bottom of my cup on pretty 
quickly after I'd laid my last coat of vinyl. So I wasn't worried about it pulling up. Sometimes I will use Counterculture's Quick Coat to make sure that holographic vinyl does not pull up. But on this cup, I really didn't feel like I needed it. So I'm just gonna go into my final coat here and I'm gonna apply this coat. I'm gonna use my torch to pop any bubbles and then we're gonna have our final design. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. Obviously, this is just kind of an inspiration tutorial. Jessica Flynn has done the split cup. She's done the gypsy leopard. So this was just kind of my little take on the combination of the two of them with the latest peachy palette from Peachy Olive Glitters. So I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Please come over to my Facebook group, Dixie Darlings Tumblers. Join us. We go live every Sunday night. Share your creations with us. We'd love to see what you create. Please subscribe so you don't miss my future tutorials here on YouTube. And thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all again soon.